The GoSmallBiz.com digital marketing dashboard lets you manage many of your online marketing efforts right from your GoSmallBiz member area with a goal of simplifying your routines and saving you time. In this tutorial, we'll look at the widget options available for the dashboard and walk through an initial dashboard setup. Before you've added your first widget to the member dashboard, you'll see a blank screen. To add your first widget, click Add Widget. After clicking Add Widget, you'll be taken to the Widget Categories menu, which will show you all available widget options. First, we'll look at the available widgets, then we'll set up our dashboard. The Facebook widgets will allow you to monitor likes to your business Facebook page, track likes, clicks, and total reach of your last five posts on this page, the response rate to your last five posts is measured by comments, and post to your Facebook business page from your member dashboard. Please note that in order to use our Facebook widgets, you will have to sync your dashboard with a personal account on which you are an administrator of a Facebook business page. If you do not currently have a Facebook business page, you can create one by clicking the link at the top of the Facebook widgets menu. We'll talk more about this later when we set up our dashboard. Our Twitter widgets will allow you to track the amount of followers for your business's Twitter handle, monitor the amount of mentions for your handle on Twitter, and tweet from the member dashboard to your Twitter account. Our Post to LinkedIn widget will let you share updates to your LinkedIn profile from your GoSmallBiz member menu. Under Other Categories, you'll find the My Clock widget. This widget will allow you to add a clock tied to any world time zone to your member dashboard. Our RSS feed widget allows you to add an RSS feed from your favorite blog or website to your member dashboard. And the Google Analytics widgets will help you track website visits, keywords being used to find your website, and the most visited pages of your website. 